so the earth is fully snowed and you have to survive inside a snow piercer train yeah I'd rather be dead <laughs> Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Snow Piercer. So, Snow Piercer is written and directed by Hoon Ho Bong. I am sorry if I mispronounced that. It stars Chris Evans, Jamie Bell, Octavia Spencer, and Ed Harris. So this movie is about when Earth is all snowed in and there are a lot of people that died. There are only certain survivors that survived what happened to Earth being all snowed down and the airplane crash. So now the survivors are in this train called the Snow Piercer. And really it's all about survival and taking back what's yours. I was really interested in Snow Piercer and it's because of a lot of buzz I've been hearing about this film. Like a lot of people are saying how great this film is. And then once I've been hearing so much buzz about this movie, I checked out the trailer. The trailer really intrigued me. So I looked for the nearest theater that was playing this movie, which happened to be 30 minutes away. And so now that I've seen Snowpiercer, I gotta say, I completely agree with the very high buzz this movie has. Because Snowpiercer is one of the best films I've seen this year. This is a film that... While it's action, it's very artistic. This is a movie that actually has a lot of depth. You could actually even say it's really character driven. You go deep into these characters, what you're going through, the things behind it, you know, what this movie has to say about society. This is what this movie is all about. This is a movie you could have fun with, but at the same time, appreciate it as an art form. I gotta go with all the performances. Every single performance in this film is terrific. There was not a single bad performance. The actress, I don't know her name, who played the lady with the ugly teeth, and she's all like, you have 10 minutes. You know the lady that talks like that? She actually did a very good job. She was very convincing. I really did not like her character, but she did a very convincing job just playing such an unlikable character. Chris Evans, he does a very great job here and I actually gotta say it's one of the best performances that he has ever given. Jamie Bell was also very good here too. He had a very likable character. He had a character that I felt very sorry for. Octavia Spencer. In the movies we've seen her in, she's known for being joke by joke by joke. You know, being the comic relief, the help being an example, which she did a good job in, by the way. But in this movie, there will only be a couple of times where she cracks jokes, like twice, I would say. But really, she plays a very serious character. She plays a mom who worries about her own son. You just really feel bad for her character. As the movie goes on, you get more deep into the characters. Chris Evans' character tells you a backstory that is really quite disturbing and I gotta say it was really risky for the movie to come up with the backstory that Chris Evans tells you near the end of the film when he said the backstory I'm not kidding you my palms were sweating and I was sitting in my seat so still. The cinematography and Snowpiercer looks very beautiful when they're inside the train. It looks really good. When you see outside of the Snowpiercer train where Earth is all fully snowed, wow. It's like crystal white clear and it was just pitch perfect. The action when it is there, it's very brutal. They were very well choreographed. I gotta see the soundtrack for the film really fit the tone of it. I thought the storyline was brilliant, it was well written, you got to care for the characters, you got to go in depth with them, what the film has to say about society, how people are, the rich and the poor, it describes all those things and I thought the film did such a brilliant job of doing that. This film also really surprised me, like I was having a hard time throughout Snowpiercer trying to figure out what was gonna happen next. It's very well paced too, it's very well edited. Ed Harris, he doesn't appear until towards the end of the film. I actually really enjoyed his role. He played a very interesting character and I'll just say it was pretty cool to see Ed Harris play a character like that. I don't want to give away what his character is but he just did a very great job with 
the role he had. My only nitpick with Snowpiercer, it's just that there were a couple of times where the camera gets a little bit shaky during the action scenes, I didn't quite see what was going on, but that's honestly just a nitpick to me. Overall, I love Snowpiercer. This film blew me away. The storyline is fantastic, the cinematography looks great, whether it's inside the train or outside of how Earth looks. I know there are some people that find the messages towards the end a little overbearing, but to be honest, I love the whole message of the film at the end. It's not only just a great action film, but it's a very beautiful, artistic kind of movie. Snowpiercer is amazing in every way. I'm so glad I got to check out this film. I'm going to give it four out of four stars. It is incredible and it's one of the best performances I've ever seen from Chris Evans. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!